So we're back to Manitoulin Island and uh, it's going to be a double adventure I think. Looking for uh, smelt run potential and also to hit some rainbows. So we'll see how this unfolds. We got Jer and Jer's friend Nick. Nick from the island, the expert. He's going to take mm. us to a expert. secret smelt spot which will be unnamed and a secret rainbow spot although nobody goes for rainbow apparently around here there's too many of them but we might expect to see what a couple hundred people for the smelt not here not this spot not this but this spot's top secret if we were to go to Kagong, we'd see a couple hundred people tonight a couple hundred wow reminds me of south where you get a couple hundred people for the rainbow run because <laughs> there aren't any smelt batch of deer in this field was there like a dozen up here yeah yeah 16 i can put it up in there open oh i'm not gonna be able to cast there chris okay so i'll move oh oh yeah oh it went out there i heard it good job guys <laughs> No, you weren't holding the line. I was holding the line. And that moon. So we got a couple lines out right now. And uh, Nick said that the, the smelt are running, so we're here in the pitch black trying to fish. I can't see anything, so I'm gonna stop walking around. This is high. Still challenge. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> I missed a bunch. I've got six total. Plus there's some in the bin. Um, but yeah, there's I'm... some held up under this little balsam here. They're hard to get at. Oh, they're in there. Hiding. I'll go see if I can scare some back. What the? Oh, it went, it's beside your, your left foot. How'd that happen? Some of them are small enough to get through. <coughs> There's a smell. Little tiny one. I had two. You got two? Well, I had two. Lost one? Yeah, I think one of the other ones fell through. They will swim out of the net, too. See? There's a little basket there. Oh, there they are. Look at. <laughs> See? Yep. Oh, I'm stuck on a <laughs> <laughs> oh, dirty. Oh, hold on. Go back that way. Okay. Oh, there's two. There's one behind. I'm going to go empty this net. Yeah. yeah. There's some held up in here. That's what those other guys were doing, and they were just working this. Yeah. Like we are now. You want that one? Might fall out. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a deer. 
There's some in there, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch under that log beside that brick. Do you want me to just walk in? Yeah, just kick in there with your boot. See them all? In beside yeah, that brick? Yeah, yeah, I do. There's a pile of them. And they're big. Here, I'm good. They're trying to swim ahead on us. Yeah, keep them. Oh, they come this way more. This way more, right under this, this log here. Yeah, there we go. Yep, give them a good. Come towards me. Yeah, I can feel them hitting the net. Oh, they're in there. Oh, cool. Oh, shoot. <laughs> There's a pile in there already. Those nice. are big ones. Nice load. <laughs> Those are big ones. Nice. Those are a little better size. Look at those. We've got a very small pail of smelts for all our hard work. It's 3 a.m. now. We've got out here about 10 uh, p.m. <laughs> and uh, they didn't run like expected. There was a bunch of people that came down. They didn't get too much. And then we just last ditch effort, we went and actually went in pretty aggressive and uh, got a bottom of a pail. That's about it. So no run tonight. Jeremy's sleeping in the car because he's sick. Top that pail up. You top the pail up. <laughs> crispy, eh? That's frozen. Yeah, there's ice forming everywhere on the bucket. But it wasn't a bad night because we had a good fire going and temperature's not too bad. Might have missed the fish when we were doing all that work because uh, my rod was pulled over, but nothing on it. We're probably going to sleep in today and then uh, head back out a little bit later. Fishing or catching? Six in the cooler already. Nice. Your limit's two, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you want to check the cooler? Six smelts. Ah. Oh, six smelts. A bunch of row. Nothing. Nobody's caught anything. No, eh? No. Nope. No action. The guys in the boat caught one. Oh yeah. Before. That's it. So they're out there. Well, yeah, somewhere. Well, all we can do is keep on trying. Or some spots. Yeah, they said uh, two guy or the two guys that came around. They said we should go down to the creek. They said there's a 15 pound walleye, oh, two yeah. two 15 pound walleye up in the creek, the sanctuary. So spawning. I guess so. Yeah. They do spawn right after the smelts. So. Yeah. So we'll go have a peek there after. Yeah, no action. Pretty slow.
So shaping up to pretty pretty good day. Pretty nice evening. Uh, Jer dropped me off because he's uh, not recovering very well from the flu. So he's gone to have a sleep. So he dropped me off on the rock. Somewhere on Manitoulin Island. I have no idea where I am. Which is just fine by me. So hopefully uh, a couple of guys mentioned that there was a morning bite. I think one, one set of guys said they got three and then they lost another three. So hoping that repeats for an evening bite. So Jared's going to go back, have a nap, and then come back later on tonight. Uh, maybe an hour before dark and join me. So no bites. Uh, we tried another spot uh, about an hour ago with no success. So the guy actually at the gas station said we were a little bit early. So that may still be the case, but there's lots of people trying. There's a couple guys just launching the boat over here. Nobody with me on the rock right now. This morning there were probably a, group of, uh, a couple groups, six groups of two or so, something like that. But uh, since we got here at noon, there was uh, nobody who got any fish. So a little slow, long drive for such a slow amount of action, but you never know, things could change really quickly. I'm just gonna hang out here and enjoy uh, Enjoy the sun as it makes its round. We'll be setting in a couple hours, maybe about two, two and a half hours, three hours from now. But uh, can't really beat the peace. It's like sitting on the dock at the cottage, really. So anyway, I'll check back in if anything new happens. Uh, this morning thought that they would like some raspberry lemon sherbet, <laughs> so give it a try. Nothing so far. Gonna be the update. So we've fished how many hours now? We're we up to. I did. Well, I, I did. Know. How long yesterday? I was sleeping. Yeah, Jerry's <laughs> sleeping. Nine hours yesterday, I think. Right? Yeah, nine. It was. Was it nine? I, nine. Ten. What time did I went? I went ten till. Oh, eleven hours. Eleven hours yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and about an hour and a half or two hours of driving. So yeah, about ten hours of fishing yesterday with nothing, no bites. So where you are. Uh, just trying from shore to the, uh, Lake Manitou again for some Lakers. So we're casting out and we have uh, some smelt sitting too, so off and on. But uh, so far nothing. They've had some luck here before, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And we might get a boat, maybe. But uh, it's his last chance, so otherwise we're going to get skunked besides the smelt. Which we pretty much got skunked with too, right? But uh, got a handful of them and we got a meal out of it last night. so. Yeah, it's a pretty good trip with nice weather and can't complain too much. It's all on how you spin the story. Right? Oh, I gotta spin it better? Yeah, yeah. We were there for one day. We had like 100 fish in the first, <laughs> first uh, few yeah. hours out. Yeah. It's true. We did have 100 fish. Yeah. yeah. They all fit in the bottom of the wee bucket. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not part of the story. It's just... Oh, it's, we got a whole meal out of it. 100 fish. Yeah, yeah that's right. 
<laughs> fed several people. Nice rig you got there. Thanks. How many horse? It's a seaworthy vessel. How many horse? About 12 when I'm paddling. <laughs> paddling. <laughs> We're gonna double it. We're gonna have 24 yep. in a second. Good, you're gonna balance it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's gonna pay off big time. Get the minnow shaking up there. Doing the jig. <laughs> How are we going to land this thing? Jerry, where's the net? Just use your teeth. You got to improvise. Yeah. How do you like to feel oh, it? It's a bass. It's a bass. Oh, <laughs> you, want me, you want me to turn the camera off? You embarrassed? No, it's okay. It's a good bass. Look at it. Yeah. Look at that rod working. I think it's, look at that freaking pole. This it's, is a good bass. Let's see if we can get it to jump. Oh yeah, she's big. No, this isn't a this isn't a small fish. No. What's that? A three and a half? Four? Five? How big do you think that? We might does. lose it, but it's only cooked in the lip. It's kinda tricky to do this in a paddle boat. People. Yeah, with ten and a half feet of rod. Yeah. I think we're a little bit under under equipped under boated and over over oh i can only get it there we go okay hold on gentlemen oh it's right on the lip oh no <laughs> ah! if i pull it up it's gonna go i gotta go lip it yeah oh look at it. it's right on, the, right on the edge you want, you want me to hold the rod yeah if you could <laughs> see what i can do we're caught on my rod. Okay. I don't right. know if we're gonna get it, gentlemen. Team effort. Oh, we got it. Look at that slab. Holy. <laughs> that thing's huge. Look at it, just barely at the edge. Oh. That tiny hook in there. <laughs> Look at that fish. That Look at that. That's that's gotta be uh five A eh, or Oh at least. Yeah, that's a five pounder. That's a monster. <laughs> Look at the belly on it. It's uh it's hard to film when I'm one and a half feet away from you. <laughs> Can you fit that whole thing in there? Yeah, it's all in, you're all in. Nice. <laughs> Look at how big it is. Alright, we better put it back. Yep. All right. And you want to get a release? Yeah. Yep, yeah, gotcha. You want to hold the camera? Oh, I don't. Kind of slimy. That's great. Your camera doesn't have fish slime on it. This is long. So Jeremy and his uh, girlfriend went to grab the canoe, uh, Nick's dad's canoe. So we've got some reinforcements coming. I think they're going to go out for a paddle now. But uh, it's funny when <laughs> out in the paddle boat and this guy's trolling around in their big boats and they're asking me if I got any fish and I uh, actually got the one pass and they're like no I haven't gotten any so it's always I think it's funny when you get the guys with the big bass boats and you're out in the canoe and uh, I guess they figure you know what you're doing because you're local or whatever they assume you're local if you have a paddle boat but it's always an interesting dichotomy between having the right size equipment oversized equipment things that make life easy and then things that keep life interesting but uh, definitely fishing in a paddle boat 
is uh, a lot more interesting than fishing in a gigantic boat. But uh, you know, if I had the choice, I'd take the the big boat because it's more efficient and I like to catch fish. So it's always that interesting trade-off. But I do like fishing from a canoe, and uh, I'd probably choose a canoe over a motorboat most days, just because it's the kind of uh, the lakes I like to get to. And if uh, if you could bring a motorboat in it, I probably wouldn't enjoy that kind of scenery. And I think that's more to it than. Uh, you know, just catching fish. So anyway, Jerry's gonna give a try on the canoe. But uh, yeah, just that one bass so far. So I've actually just got a, a smelt. Some of the ones we harvested uh, a couple days ago. And uh, it's just way, way out on, uh, just dropped down on the bottom off of a, um, sinker so it's got a little bit of play with the a swivel at the end and then a bit of line with the hook and uh nick was saying it worked really well a few years back just drop the uh, smelt down and let it sit on the bottom and then they'll if the lake chokes comes by they'll pick it up off the bottom suck it suck it up off the bottom and then take a run with it so it's just a dead set line but uh hasn't been working yet uh yeah Jeremy and uh, his girlfriend Delphine are just out in the canoe. It's actually nice and quiet here. There's not a whole lot of traffic. It's a little bit early still in the season, so there's supposed to be a mix of cottagers and people who live out here, but it's pretty quiet overall. See lots of birds. Went off in the woods a little, a little ways, and there's tons of sign for deer and rabbit. But the island is known for its deer population, it has huge amounts of deer. Every time we drive out in the field in the morning, there's 20, 30, 40 deer all over the place. It's a very, very productive island. Lots of wildlife, lots of fish with the smelt run in the rainbow, lake trout, whitefish, walleye, everything. So it's a really nice place to visit. Should I say something interesting? Always. Always? Always you're wasting everybody's time. Yeah? Do you think they want to hear about the uh, Pileated Woodpecker calling and the Morning Dove and the Yellow Crown Kinglet? I mean the Ruby Crown Kinglet? Possibly. Somebody. Ring-neck duck, goose, <laughs> lots of common mergansers, a bunch of hooded mergansers. Saw a couple mallards on the road but none in the big lake here. And deer jumped in front of the truck on the drive in. This is right about where we got that bass. Maybe we'll catch it again. So I think that's it for today. We uh Tried in the canoe, tried the paddle boat, tried a deadline, nothing's working. So I think I uh, got my butt kicked this time. Uh, just that one bass for uh, 20 hours of fishing or so. Unless I reel up and there's some something at the end of this, we're done. And uh, I think we're gonna just go have lunch and then, I don't know, not sure what else, but probably no fishing. But uh, this may be the end of the video. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the little bits of outdoorsy stuff. Not quite the trip I had in mind, but you know, just to get some smelt and uh, you know, got some fishing and some outdoor stuff. So, oh no, not too bad. Anyway, check back in later.